Whoa, did you see that? Whoa, 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 we're under attack. What the crap is happening? What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here hanging out today doing stuff and things back with some more Osiris New Dawn. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a great day. And like I said, we're back doing stuff and things. We got to open the survival kit. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. Like I was saying, make sure if you like the video today, please don't forget to show your support and hit the like button. And if you haven't already and you're new, don't forget to subscribe. So we've previously played Osiris New Dawn. All right, there we go. And we did some stuff and things in it. We did some stuff and things really quickly. We had a pre, like it was like a PAX West build thing. So let's go ahead and we don't want to, op we don't want to open inventory. We want to do any of that. Hold on, let's open the inventory of this thing. I don't want to open inventory. I want you to, I want the follow commands and such. Can I get the follow commands and such? What is going on here? So we're back to do some stuff and things with Osiris New Dawn now with this, is, which is a new build. And I'm interested to see what the differences are. You know, one of the reasons a lot of people on that video, they asked, if I could go ahead and do like another video. They wanted me to do some other stuff and things in the game. And so one of the reasons that I hadn't done that, what is this guy? Oh, that's new. So one of the reasons why I hadn't done that was because you really couldn't. Um, once you got to the point in which I was at, I could have maybe done a little bit of exploring in the game, but there wasn't anything left you could do. In order to build more stuff and things, I had to make steel. And at the time you couldn't craft anything in that in that version. So we don't want to we don't want to take this. Oh, yeah, we guess we could because we could build it somewhere else. So there wasn't anything else we could do in that version. And so we kind of like stopped playing. But now there's like a new version. Now I haven't played it and I heard a couple grumbles, but I'm not exactly sure what's going on um, with this. We're going to have to take a look and see. So we got our guy. Is he on follow? That's so weird. Last time we were able to like get a follow command for this guy. So let's see what's going on with this guy here. So you're coming with me. There we go. Now, finally, that's so strange. I wonder if I was looking at a different spot. I don't know what the deal is with that. All right, so let's take a look at our inventory really quickly and see what kind of stuff and things we have. So we've got some water. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. I need to I need to get organized in here. Organization is key, peeps. So we got a bandage. We got some food. Let's squirt our steamed carrots and our baked potato down in that that early type area. Let's go ahead and get our bandages all in a line. Let's get our weapons all in a line. And no, you know what? I don't like that. Let's go ahead like this, like this, and like this, and like this. All right, sweet. So I think if I'm not mistaken, if I remember, wow, there's a little bit of laggy stuff and things going on here. Just touch, just a touch. Maybe it's when it's loading it for the first time. Yeah, I think that's it. So that's where we can build our inflatable dome. We definitely want to build near some resources of some kind. Now, all right, forgot, almost did I. Uh, you had a reference check. The map. So what is this deal? Oh, uh, we can see on the map. Can we zoom with mouse? No. So this looks like some sort of a map. It shows our latitude and longitude. It shows north, south, east, west, stuff and things like that. All right, I'm just trying to see here everything I can see. Some of these mountains are lit up more than us. Oh man, look at that. I wonder if you can get up there. That's crazy cool, man. So let's take a look with our chisel, how far away we can see. This looks like some iron deposits right here. Yeah, we got some iron deposits over there. I'd love to build in a spot that's got like a bunch of stuff and things going on all in the same spot kind of deal. It also looks like, oh, suit temperature stuff and things were going on there. It looks like they changed some stuff. One of the things that I didn't really feed back in the video about the game that um, there was a lot of stuff that, first of all, let me say that I loved about the game. But one of the things that I didn't like about that version was that you were constantly getting this like super loud heartbeat noise from sprinting. Um, and I'm like a big, I hate that. Um, I, I don't like the, when games have like a sprint, but that you can barely ever use it. I, I just don't get that. Like that there's like a sprint and that can't be used. So, um, it was kind of a pain in the, in the butt a little bit. And it looks like they changed it a little bit. Although the sprint recharge, you can see down there in the bottom seems to take forever. Um, so it just means you end up walking around and everything's super slow and kind of sucks. So, all right, we got some aluminum over here. It looks like we've got some iron right over here. Oh, these things we can't touch. We got to be really careful of those guys. Is that is that aluminum too? Crap, it's all aluminum over here. I was hoping to find a spot that had aluminum and iron together so we could kind of get stuff and things going here. Let's take a look over in a viscerally type area a little bit better. All right, here we're getting the heartbeat deal again. So this is the thing that I really... That, um. 
this is kind of what I was talking about. One of the things that really bugs me, like what I don't get why you can sprint and then you have to stand still for a really long period of time. Um, and in this instance, I think it's, they're trying to be more realistic. Obviously, you can't just run indefinitely in real life. So it makes sense, especially if you had a space suit on stuff like that, you try to be a little bit more. You'd have to walk a little bit more. So I think that's what they're trying to do here. So you use your sprint just when you're trying to get away from aliens or whatever. This is really weird. So, oh, okay. Like super realistic shadow coming from that. That's cool, man. You know, I really want to get up there like more than anything. So it looks like we're coming into an area where there's some bad hombres. And there's our iron over there. Hmm. Let me go ahead and do a little bit of scouting. Try to see if I can find a cool place for a base. And we're back where we started. Um, I looked around a little bit for some stuff and things. I kind of noticed that the spawn position seemed to be pretty good. So I think for now, we're just going to start it right over here, kind of equidistant in between some of this iron. You know what? Maybe we'll go over here a little bit, a little bit over in like this really type area like so. All right. So we're going to hit tab, go into our structure. Inflatable dome. Wow. Is that the loudest thing ever game? Oh my gosh, man. I have master volume turned way, way down. Let's go ahead and just like turn all this stuff down a little bit. All right. Maybe that will fix that. Holy crap. Was that loud? Unbelievable. Oh, I didn't fix it even a little bit. Oh my God. It's the loudest thing ever. Wow. Does that suck? Oh my goodness. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, let's place this thing. No. Oh my gosh. And then you got to hold your mouse button to build it. Like so. Yeah, we did it. Nailed it. It's the KB stopped. All right. Can we go inside here and save our game? I can't remember. We can. All right. Let me go ahead and let's F it so we can save our game. And I think we got our guy out here now, right? Where is our little guy? Left oxygen recovery safe zone. Oh, okay. So let me go ahead and take this guy and hit him on stay. You're going to stay right there, right? Stay, 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 stay. Osiris mission, personal assistant, receive command to stay. All right, sweet. So let's go back inside of here. And it says, it was saying that it's giving me O2. I'm trying to see if anything in my little hut on the lower left there is charging, but I'm not seeing it. So what I think I'm going to do actually is go out of the game and uh, fix the volume for you guys. I don't want you to have to go through that um, again. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be our RBs. And we're back. And this is kind of new. We had weather effects in the version I played with, but I kind of had them turned off. So this is kind of interesting. Like the visibility is very low. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that, uh, but we'll see here as we play. Um, this is another good reason that I kind of built near where the spawn is because in the upper left-hand corner, there's that little indicator that says spawn position. So I'm wondering with the map, this is our mission details. Pardon me. I hit M, I hit, uh, M for map, but we uh, that's mission details. Let's go like this. I was wondering if you could... It doesn't say anywhere on here. Set a waypoint, which would be sweet. But I'm glad that I built where I did because we can use that as a waypoint for stuff and things. So the next thing in our mission is to build a forge. So if we go into our build stuff like thing like this, there's our forge right there. It is iron, titanium, and plutonium. So I've never seen titanium or plutonium um hmm that's gonna be interesting really what we need to start off with is a lot of iron and uh aluminum so we can get a depository going so we've got aluminum right here and then that way it's basically a chest so we can go ahead and do that f all these little aluminum balls encumbered backpack 102 percent capacity all right so it looks like there's actually like raindrops falling too oh okay so we had a sandstorm. Now we're getting like a rainstorm deal. Um, should probably be taking a robot with us because it does have an inventory and we can transfer stuff and things over to it. Suit temperature high, stuff and things are super terrible. Everything's terrible. All right, we should be good to go over here now. If we go into like so and then into utility and then depository. Did it fix the unbelievable noise? Man, the noise is a little bit, le little bit less. So let me see here. Let's rotate like so and then confirm build. Hold left mouse button. And... Nailed it. He's the KB stopped. All right, so we built the thing. It's amazing. If we open this guy up like so, we can transfer items. Is there like right click, split, drop? So there's some right click items now, and I think store and inventory. Oh, sweet. That's so nice. So nice. Amazingly cool. So in our structures now, we've got our habitat. This takes steel and glass to build now. I don't believe it did in the previous version. So I'm pretty sure we're going to need all this stuff to build the forge. So we need titanium and plutonium. 
Let me see here about a couple other things. I'm wondering about the hovercraft. There was a hovercraft in the other one too. I actually don't think I showed it off. It was a little bit, I had a little bit of an issue with it. I played with it for a while and then I lost it. Um, so I kind of lost my hovercraft. Um, let me go ahead and get this guy to come with me. Follow me, homie. So I guess now we're on a mission to find plutonium and titanium. Um, again, which I've never seen in the game before. So I'm not really sure how this is gonna work out. So let me go ahead and have a, a kind of a walk around and see what I can find here. And uh, there's more iron. There's more iron. Maybe we'll head over to the other side where the aluminum was. Let me see if I can find the titanium and plutoniums. And we're back. I found a new, like, bad guy. I don't think I've seen that guy before. That guy that's out there, it's pretty cool looking. I killed another one right there. I saw this guy right here. I also have got my guy. I made a mistake. The personal assistant does not have an inventory, not one that I can find. Um, I also put it into some sort of a mode where now it stands, like, off my right shoulder. But no matter what I do, I can't figure out how to get it to go into a different mode now because I can't get to it. Like, if I try to touch it, it just keeps walking on my right shoulder. If I get near it, like, it doesn't stop. Like, I can't. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm screwed. He's just forever going to be, like, on that side of me, I guess. Maybe if I log out and log back in, maybe that would fix it. Um, Over in this area, I was looking around. I found some copper, and I brought it back to the base. Um, All the other, only other stuff here is aluminum and iron. I haven't seen any plutonium or any uh, titanium or any of that stuff. So I'm not really sure where that is. I figured since the game's kind of new and it spawned you into that area that it would kind of be near the resources that you're looking for. But I don't necessarily think that's the case. It's not super near. So I'm still continuing to look for stuff. I think, oh, I didn't realize that either. I think you move at different speeds based on what kind of weapon you have out. Yeah, you definitely walk slower. Oh, there's that guy. There's that big guy. Oh, wait, what's over there? Probably what we need. So anyway, you move faster if you have a pick in your hand. What is that? Lead. Okay, we don't need lead. That's more copper, right? Okay. Well, we're definitely finding new stuff. We probably should pick some of this lead up. And then head back to base. That guy looks dangerous, man. Let me see. That's copper. There's more lead. Is he going to come over into this early type direction? Or does he have like a patrol zone or how does this work? How does the AI work? All right. I want to just start gathering up some materials. So we're going to grab some lead too and then hoof it back to base with this. Let me see here. Grab that. You kind of got to run after this stuff. Like so. How much inventory do you have? We're at 62%. I'm going to guess. Let me see here. 79 Oh, wait, we're encumbered. Crap. All right, so we definitely don't want to be encumbered. Let's split this stack. Drop that. Wow, that's only 80. Oh, we're at 81. Okay, so yeah, we got to split. Let's split this again. Drop this. All right, now we're not encumbered. So we can head back to base. Also, the day-night cycle seems to be super fast. Like, it's already been... This is... It's getting dark-ish. I don't really get it. Like, that's the sun... I don't know. It's getting darker, but it seems like maybe it's a storm right now. Maybe it's like an overcast storm. I'm not sure. It's it's like, I don't know. I like it. It's eerie. Like, this place is definitely eerie and strange. Um. Oh, here we go. We got to wait and walk for a while because our stuff and things are bad. So, all right. We're still on the hunt for titanium and plutonium. We have seen none. I will find it in BRBs. And we're back. I found a minotaur, which doesn't look like a minotaur. It's time to attack it. Oh, 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 oh. Attack it, buddy. Help me, little buddy. What are you doing, man? Where did it go? Oh, it just evaporated. We evaporated a minotaur. I came down into this rock field down here just to find, to try to find this plutonium and ti titanium. I found titanium. Amazing. Maybe there's plutonium around here, too. That would be amazing. All right, so we have some titanium now. We can't take too much of it. We got to take some of it, though. So let's see here. All right, all right. We're halfway there for sure. Let's F the rest of these boulders. Let's get our gun back out. Oh, more titanium. You know what? I feel like we just want to, like... Well, I, I know where it is now. I know where it is. It's 301, 10 meters from the that way of the base. There's a ton of it. Holy crap. 
me see here. Oh, I guess we could carry some more and make a trip back to the base. I want to see, though. Is this all titanium? It's like a huge field of it, man. Sweet. Sweet. All right. So we have tons of titanium now. Um, I kind of want to continue. Oh, is it turning to be? Is it fixing to be nighttime? I kind of want to continue on my way here and see if the plutonium's around here somewhere. Maybe over in a viscerally type direction. We definitely got tons of titanium now. All right. We're on our way. And we're back. That's got to be plutonium. See that green rock way off in the distance there? It's so far away, though. Where's our little buddy? Still with me, buddy? All right. We have a long way to go to get over there. It's going to be a lot of walking. But I think we found it. So I'm pretty excited, man, because this is like the next stage. Like getting the forge up and running and being able to do... Or actually, is it called a forge? I can't even remember what the damn thing's called now. Utilities. Yeah, it's called a forge. I think that's going to be the thing. It looked a little bit different in the um, in the PAX West build that I had. But I think that's going to be the thing that's going to allow us to make steel and those sorts of things to kind of progress down the tech tree. So, all right, let's get over there to that plutonium or whatever that is. I'm assuming it is. And we're back. I think I also found diamond. I'm not sure. there. I think there's diamond in this game, and I think that looks like it might be it over there. But really doesn't matter right now. We're just on a on our trip. For, oh, I forgot. Also, I forgot we have the fly or whatever. Kind of fly. Kind of fly deal a little bit. So let's go ahead and see here. Is this what we're looking at? Yeah, plutonium. Nailed it. Ace the KB stop. Is it super heavy? How much we got on us now? Oh, we're just overweight. Crap, man. We need, like, additional inventory. Patrol repair, patrol mine. Patrol and mine? Set target. Uh, F? Will you, will you go mine that stuff for me, hom homie? Go mine that stuff, man. Oh, is it doing it? Are you getting it? Oh, it's getting the plutonium for us. Oh, that's awesome, man. Is that its little inventory, the blue bar? Or is that its energy? How do we access this thing's inventory, man? Because it always looks at us no matter what. I'm so confused. All right. Maybe it just doesn't do it or I don't know. It's still in the early stages. Maybe we'd have a command, a key that we don't know about. I can check, check it out here in a second. You know what? But what we need for you to do now is to go ahead and follow me again. We've got to go. Okay. We've got to go into our inventory. I thought I saw something here real quick. We've got to go into our inventory. Split this. Let's split that. Let's split this. Let's go ahead and just drop this. Okay. Now we have enough. So we're not burdened. We can always come back here and get more plutonium, but we've got what we need in order to make the forge. Nailed it. Ace the can be stubbed. I sometimes forget that these videos can be entertaining and informative, so I am not sure if the worlds are all the same, but if they are, this is the location of the plutonium I found. And this is the location of the titanium I found. And we're back at base. By the way, you have a light on your character by hitting L. You can activate it like so. So under cover of darkness, you can see stuff and things. So let's go ahead and open this guy up to get our utilities forge. We need four pieces of iron. So what we can do is go ahead and squirt this all into our inventory like so. We can go ahead and add to backpack, utilities, forge. Oh yeah, nailed it, Ace to KB stop. So now we got a forge. Let's go ahead and stick it right next to this repository here. I think our guy is in the way. Let us cancel build. Come over here, homie. Come over here. Come over here, man. All right, good job. You're doing great. All right, uh, stay. Just don't move at all, even a little bit. All right, so now we can go into our inventory's utilities forge, and then we'll stick it like right here. Confirm build, hold left mouse button. Oh, this is a big moment. We did it. All right, so we have a forge now. Let's go ahead and take a look. If we open the forge, what can we do here? So we can craft steel, barrels, glass, this is made from sand, which I have not... I don't know how to get sand. Oh, I'm assuming you have to make a shovel. So you need steel to make a shovel. Oh, here we go. Down the rabbit hole. Magnesium! I haven't even found any magnesium yet. Oh, my gosh. All right, so we can make a pistol. We can make the sniper rifle mag. Oh, you know what? We didn't check out either. If they fixed... Oh, wait. Sniper rifle mag. We haven't even seen a sniper rifle yet. There's the inventory. Okay, I get it, yeah. So steel... Oh, man. We need magnesium to make this. So if we squirt this into the inventory like so... If we exit out of here and then go back in. All right, the steel is inside of there. Just making sure. So we need magnesium and aluminum. Aluminum of which we have. 
If we make a barrel, we can make two steel. This is really weird, man. So you can make one steel with two iron, one magnesium, one aluminum. You can make two steel with a barrel. In order to get a barrel, you need rubber. And I don't see any way to make rubber. What is this? Is that say fencyclid fencyclidine? Fencyclidine. Yeah, weird, man. So I'm guessing the first thing we need to do is make three steel. So we need more magnesium so we can make a shovel so we can get sand so we can make glass. This is probably the order of operations that we're looking at here. Or rubber. Somehow we've got to find that or be able to make it. There's diamond for the heavy assault magazines. And I'm assuming that goes with this, even though it says assault rifle. No, no, no. Regular assault rifle mag. That's that titanium and steel. Steel. Six steel to make. Holy crap. It also looks like we can create a colony name here. Let's call our colony Sliptopia. Like so. Create. Awesome. All right. So we have a colony now. All right. So like I said, we're on the hunt for magnesium so that we can make a shovel. Um, let's go ahead into our inventory here and we will squirt all the stuff inside of there. We have a little bit of meat as well. You know, the other thing that I'm noticing about this is I don't see any... Oh, wait. Did we accidentally eat that food? We did eat that meat. It's gone. Whoa, what's going on? Whoa, did you see that? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, we're under attack. What the crap is happening? I don't hear anything. Did you guys see that? What the frig was that, man? That was crazy. Glitch, I guess. I don't know. All right. So, like I said, we've got our forge. It's super cool. Um, we got to go find some magnesium now. Hey, we're back. I just saved the game. Let's take a look at the time of the video. I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I have to wait. To, we're going to have to wait words for the magnesium for the next episode. But we got our forge done. We figured out where titanium and plutonium are. We think we know where diamonds are and we're starting to do stuff and things. Some people have been talking about doing multiplayer server stuff. Um, and uh, I know logicservers.co.uk, the guy that do our ARC uh, server today is the initial release of the game um, or the certain people have gotten codes today. Um, and we haven't been able to figure out how to do the server yet. So that's something we're going to be thinking about in the future. But yeah, if we do, or when we do next episode, if it's still single player, we haven't figured out the uh, multiplayer server yet. We're going to go get the magnesium, work on getting the shovel stuff and things, and just progressing down the tech tree and see what we can do here. So yeah, thanks for coming to hang out with me today. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget to show your support and hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite the videos you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you.